Welcome to part two of the first service of the 400 gallon Bowfront Aquarium. We've just removed all the coral decorations out of the tank. We're now in the midst of doing a water change and vacuuming the gravel. So let's get to work. Time to put that 20 gallons of new salt water back into the tank. Five gallon jug at a time. This is real ocean water. This is the type of water we'll be using from this point on out including that 100 gallon water change and any bigger or big water changes that we plan on doing down the road. And we'll now plug the main pump back in. Now that we've gone through and pulled out all the coral decorations, we've wiped the interior free of algae, we've gone through and vacuumed the gravel trying to extract as much debris as possible from it, we replenish that water that we took out as a result of vacuuming the gravel. It's now time to put the coral decorations back into the tank. So one coral at a time, I'll now redecorate the tank. I've always found this part of aquarium service to be the most exciting. It's my expression of what I believe the bottom of the ocean looks like. It's my artistic and creativity at work. The secret to placing corals is that they all should point upwards. This is how they grew in nature and it provides a common link amongst all of them. So we've now positioned all of the white corals, which are the predominant corals in the tank. We'll now go ahead and position the red pipe organ corals, uh, the blue corals, as well as the uh, purple striped barnacles to add a little extra color into the tank. In the realm of naturally colored coral decorations, there's only a few choices in colors, blue, red, and the purple striped. The big advantage to these colors is that they won't fade and they can be bleached without losing their color. So we've got all the corals in the tank. We'll now go ahead and place all the lids back on there. Wipe down the top to make sure that there's no uh, excess water sitting around. still have to uh, check our water level on the filter below and I want to address the uh, algae scrubber this week. This will be the first time we've cleaned the algae scrubber. Since uh, there's no fish, there's no food, there's no nutrients in the tank, the algae scrubber is not producing a lot of algae at this time. Okay, so it's now time to check the water level in the sun can see the line that we've drawn and the water level is about an inch below so we'll need to add some fresh water back into the system to compensate for that evaporation that occurred. And that replacement water is from a five gallon jug of reverse osmosis water that has been placed alongside the tank for the homeowner's use as needed. We'll double check on our water level and within a quarter of an inch. So 
there's the drain from our algae scrubber. And here is the algae scrubber. You can see it's sitting in a nice little tray. There's going to be some little drips or leaks out of the scrubber. And what we want to do today is clean off that screen inside the scrubber. Hello, my name is Jim Stein. I'm with Midwater Systems, and I'm the developer of the Jelly Aquarium. The Jelly Aquarium is a tank designed specifically for the keeping of jellyfish. I offer five different sizes of tanks designed to be built into a wall or a freestanding cabinet. I also offer the inexpensive Mini Jelly Aquarium, which has its filter system built into its backside. Additionally, I offer tank-raised moon jellyfish, as well as a line of tanks designed for producing your own jellyfish. For more information on this fascinating world of keeping jellyfish, visit jellyquarium.com. When in Los Angeles, make it a point to stop in Long Beach, California at Age of Aquariums, 2642 Cherry Avenue, just off the 405 freeway near Signal Hill. At Age of Aquariums, their knowledgeable staff showcases designer aquariums featuring colorful corals and exotic fish, a spectacular four-sided 500-gallon living coral reef, along with a wide selection of coral frags and a large selection of saltwater fish, the cute, the graceful, and the not-so-cute. Age of Aquariums also carries a selection of popular freshwater fish for the beginning hobbyist. Along with a full line of aquarium supplies and supplements, Age of Aquariums quarantines and medicates all their new fish and proudly provides LA and Orange County's largest aquarium maintenance service. Age of Aquarium is located at 2642 Cherry Avenue, just off the 405 freeway near Signal Hill. Open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. For more information, dial 562-438-6252 or visit ageofaquariums.biz. Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country, or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. You may have seen me use algae scrubbers in previous episodes. All of those episodes were in an attempt to bring down high nutrient levels and resolve algae problems. In this situation, we're employing the use of the algae scrubber from the beginning of its operation. No real significant algae so far on the scrubber, but then again, there's not a whole lot of nutrients in the system, but that's the whole point. This will consume the nutrients, thus decreasing the potential uh, for algae problems. We don't have our scraper with us today, or a scraper, a dedicated scraper yet, so you just go ahead and spray off the algae, or diatoms or dust, whatever has collected on here so far. Ultimately, it would be best to remove the screens from the spray rod and clean out the slot and top edge of the screens. With my rinse screens, an area outside the scrubber cleaned off, I can reattach it with the union fitting and place the lid back over the scrubber itself. There's our protein skimmer. Hardly anything in there. Couldn't clean that up. Because the algae scrubber is consuming all of the nutrients in the aquarium, including proteins and enzymes, the protein skimmer has decreased tremendously in what it has to drive out. Therefore, it produces very little.
And I think that takes care of the uh, filter system aspect. The UV unit is still working as it's supposed to. There's our wet dry trickle filter. Really no maintenance in there that needs to be done at this time. Protein skimmer is doing its job, but um, the algae scrubber really cuts down on what it can do. And there's the uh, pleated cartridge. Getting a little dirty, but I think it's too early to pull that because that's part of the biological filter. And the chiller is working just fine. And as I mentioned, it's uh, 78, 79 degrees. So everything in here is working well. Again, I'm going to be doing that 100-gallon uh, water change here next week. So you'll want to sure be sure to come back for that. So that's the first service on the big 400-gallon bow front. Three boxes of corals, and we only did a 20-gallon water change. Make sure to come on back for the next part We'll be doing a 100 gallon water change in the tank to try to get all that sediment and the sand uh, out of the gravel. And so until then, keep moving forward.